my dear friends, one month has passed and it is time to tell you more about my adventure. While I can honestly say I told you everything so far, you have to be a bit of a liar to tell a story the right way. Too much truth confuses the facts, too much honesty makes you sound insincere. Patrick Rothfuss, The Name of the Wind Let me tell you how the adventure continued. The days began like any other day. After getting dressed and brushing my teeth, I would get straight to work. I worked diligently until noon. And then, finally, I could start working on Timber Quest. In the first days, I created dummy spells and made it possible to move the items to the action bar. So when I implement potions or other usable items later, you will be able to use them more efficiently. Additionally, I have implemented a feature that allows you to transfer items from your inventory and drop them to the ground. I have added keybinds to the action bar and incorporated a cooldown graphic for icons. Following that, I expanded the UI by adding a spellbook, crafting menu and survival bars. This month, my objective was to implement enough features to enable players to survive in the game in a basic way. So I created illustrations for some essential in-game items, including a flint axe, leaf, stick, bone pickaxe, bones, fiber, blueberry, mushrooms and flint. I also added a bunch of additional 3D models. Let's play a little and find a place where we can build a small base. I know that I talk a lot about survival this time, which is part of the game, but we are adding survival elements to heighten the feeling of adventure. The game will not be a pure survival game. Think of The Hobbit, where the group has to stop to rest. I know, it's pretty vague right now, but we will talk about it more in the future. Buildings will turn red if there is an obstacle in the way. You can rotate them with the mouse wheel. Of course, building the shelter won't be that fast later on. And you will need to craft tools first to chop trees and break stones. Most current crafting recipes have random resources or are set to super low values for testing purposes. Also, something I almost forgot, you can already store items in treasure boxes. Now, let's try to craft a flint axe. To do that, we need string and flint as the most crucial resource. And it already can get night, which will probably change visually in the future. Later we will implement that you skip hours of the day by sleeping. We will probably add something that makes player want to skip the night. There will likely be multiple reasons, on which could be that players need to stay stationary when warming up by the fire or in the bed, and they will need to sleep from time to time. And hopefully the night would be the perfect time to do that. With a right click I can eat some blueberries to fill up my nutrition and hydration again. I know, the bars aren't that awesome yet, but we will change that in the future. I also added equipment slots right above the inventory. One for the weapon hand, shield hand, cloths, cloak, shoes and jewelry. Apart from weapons, equipping items will not change the appearance of your character. I'm really excited about the stat system in our game, but we will talk about that in a future video. Okay, thanks for watching, bye!